Actually, it's a, it's a crazy story. Um, her older cousin, uh, Deborah, and her husband, now, uh, we were roommates um, at Francis Mary. And um, so we were sitting around one day. Um, this was before Jessica got to Francis Mary. And uh, her cousin was just like, make sure you just uh, watch out for my baby cousin. She's coming to school here next year. And we met in 2005 was always just genuine friendship. Um, we would laugh together, we would talk, um, and every time we got together, it was always a good time, always great laughter. We started uh, talking then um, as friends. Um, our friendship has uh, blossomed um, over the years. And uh, so in December of 2000, um, 16, we decided to take the friendship a step further. So our first date was at Mi Tierra, uh, the Mexican restaurant, and um, it was it was really we didn't know it was a date until after the date was over. We were meeting up because um, he was a little upset about some things that he had going on professionally. I had just lost um, a playoff basketball game and I was kind of in a slump so she took me there to kind of keep my mind off things. Um, and for her taking me there, I bought her a little gift. It was a mug that said that you're amazing, but lo and behold, she had me a gift as well. I went and brought him a motivational calendar. I was like, you know, he needs his spirit to be uplifted. So I give him something that'll last for a while. Um, and so we sat and we ate and we talked for like probably about three hours. I, I still don't know the name of the restaurant uh, to this day, but we call it um, Bella Noche. It's some kind of inside joke that we have. We exchanged gifts um, and then, you know, we went our separate ways. And I actually went home and told my mama about it. And she was like, are you sure? Like, what's wrong with him for you? Like, why aren't y'all together? I'm like, girl, no. No. Mm. He proposed to me on December 13th, 2018, which was our two-year dating anniversary. I talked to her mom and dad the week of the, of the proposal, um, got their blessings, and then I... Uh, Went to this place in at the beach called Brook Green Gardens. They have this thing called the Night of a Thousand Candles. I know Jessica really like Christmas lights. Um, and so um, I knew that would be the perfect place. I really love Christmas decorations. So he said, this is where we're gonna go. And he planned the whole date. We got there, uh, we were almost there. And he started acting a little strange. I was like, just come on, come on. So I'm walking around and I'm just very intrigued by the lights. I'm like, ooh, ah, this is so pretty, this is so pretty. She was, really wasn't paying me any attention. She was actually into the lights taking selfies. And then um, the people that was behind me, I grabbed them and asked them, could they take pictures and video me um, about to propose. So he walked back over and he handed me a journal. Um, he had me reading the journal on the way there and it was a story. And he told me I only could only read the first page. So he told me I could read the rest of it. And then the rest of it basically says, and tonight is the night that I ask you to be my wife. And he gets on his knee and he asks me, will you marry me? She laughed at first, but she eventually said yes. Quite a journey. Um, we have had a lot of rough days. Um, we've had some happy moments. But the main thing that we, we, re we remind each other is that we still have to have that joy and we still have to have that happiness no matter what happens. We've had several hiccups happen with this wedding planning process. The enemy has been on us for the past month. One, one week it'll be her, the next week it'll be me. We've just really learned how to come together even more close with each other in this process because it teaches us that 
we really have no one but each other and it's teaching us for this next phase that we're going into that when we get into this marriage that we're supposed to be talking about things to each other first versus with the whole world first. A lot of different things to, to jump in our way to try to stop this uh, manifestation but you know we kept praying and kept pressing on and we're right here. And my final minute of being Jessica Goings is that um, I am really proud of you. I am proud of the man that I have watched you grow into. Um, I'm even more excited to see who you continue to grow into as you know you develop more into what God has called you to be. God has a way of, of doing things and I'm so glad that God has chosen me um, to take this journey with you. I'm excited to see us start our life together and learn things about each other and learn how to work together. We about to go do the daggone thing and uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. God could not have picked a better man for me. I know that for a fact. All right, so it's almost an hour before we get married. So I got I to gotta get this out. It's about an hour before I become Mrs. German and I am so excited. <laughs>